Today's video is going to be a rather short one, uh, answering a viewer's question. The viewer's name is The Apple Rock, and his question was, um, how do you open up a new terminal window and run a command in it without having to type the command in it? Um, well, he didn't tell me which terminal emulator he's using, uh, so I'm just going to go over the three most common. Um, so the first one is I'm going to go over is Xterm, which if you have Xorg installed, Xterm is probably installed. So if you're writing a script, that's probably a good one to go with because it's a good chance that it's on uh, the other person's machine um, if they have a GUI interface running where the other two, which is going to be uh, GNOME Terminal and Console with a K for the KDE desktop, uh, may or may not be installed whether they're using GNOME or KDE on and on. Anyway, so here we have Xterm. All I'm going to do is do dash E, and we're going to type in, we'll just do ping, and we'll ping google.com. And as you can see, a new terminal window opened up, and it's running the ping command. Now, you do notice in our original terminal here that it's kind of on a halt. We can't run any more commands in here while this is running. You probably, if you're opening up another terminal, it's probably because you want to run more than one thing. So in this case, all you have to do is do space and our end sign to throw that into the background. Boom. This is running pinging stuff, and you can still type other commands over here. And we can close that there. Now, uh, doing the same thing with, um, <coughs> excuse me, GNOME Terminal. So GNOME Terminal. Ah. So that's just opening up GNOME Terminal. And uh, you may notice that when I did that, just open up the terminal that, hey, by default, that terminal program throws itself in the background so you don't have to uh, use the end symbol. But let's run a command in that. And let's try to do the same thing. We'll do dash E ping www.google.com. Hey, why didn't we get a terminal screen? Well, uh, it turns out that GNOME wants you GNOME. GNOME Terminal wants you to uh, throw that command into quotations. So there we go. And we don't, as I said, we don't have to put the little end symbol to throw in the background. It automatically does that. Um, now, the last one is console, which is for the KDE desktop. And if we were to do the same thing, like so, let me just, boom. You know, so nothing happens because it's the opposite. It doesn't want quotation marks. There we go. And it also does not require you to use the end symbol to throw it into the background. Now, that was it. That's pretty much the whole tutorial. But I want to go real quick how you find stuff like this out. You know, because it's, it's a rather simple task. Um, and I have no problem doing tutorials on it. So one way you could find out is by watching this video. You could also Google it. But... And, you know, I hear a lot of people complain about open source not having good documentation. Um, and I completely 100% disagree with that. Um, open source has great documentation. Uh, it's just people don't want to read, which is fine. That's why I do my videos in case you don't want to read. But almost every single command line program that you run is going to have a man file. So if we type in man, I can type in X term. And there we go, and we have all our X term uh, information there. Also, if you just want a quick look, you can do X term dash dash help, and it gives you a quick little look at what's going on here. Um, and just a little brief look at it. And then, uh, same thing with like GNOME Terminal. Now, now, if you're running a very slimmed down system, it may not include the man files just to save space, but any regular desktop, um, there we go, I just typed it wrong. Uh, any regular desktop uh, distro, you know, Debian, Arch, um, Gentoo, Fedora, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, they're pretty much gonna have man files for everything. Uh, sometimes they're really long, and sometimes they're not. This one's relatively short. But you can see you can do things like the geometry of the window. You can hide the toolbar. Uh, and it tells you all that stuff right in there. And it gives you a quick look at stuff right here. You can see dash E, or you can do dash dash command equals and the command you want to run. And then there's dash, dash X for execute, um, which is different. And I used to know the difference. 
but I can't remember right now. Also, if it is a big man file, like if you were to man bash or something, you can hit forward slash and type something to search through there. So I can type in command and hit enter. Hey, and it found all the commands that highlight them. I can hit forward slash and enter to go to the next one. So I just wanted to bring that up because this was a relatively simple thing that's very easy to find out just by opening up the man page. It's like the first thing it shows inside the man page there. Gnome terminal dash e to run the command string and then obviously it give you more information on it down here it executes the argument to this uh, option inside the terminal execute the remainder of the command line inside the terminal so that's the difference I really don't know what that means but Google can always figure that or best way to learn the way I learn a lot of stuff is play with it mess with it see what happens try different things that's how I figured out that you know uh, gnome terminal wants quotations and console didn't well, I did it without the, qu the quotations, and I figure, hey, it wants a string. Probably a good idea to put it in quotations. I did that. And then when it didn't work for console, I went, maybe it doesn't want strings. You just need to play around with stuff. So uh, I hope that answers your question, the Apple Rock, and I hope that uh, informs more people on man files. And uh, I mean, some man files are better than others. Uh, personally, I think any good man file will have examples at the bottom. A lot of them don't, but I, I appreciate when uh, the writers of the man files put those in there. So anyway, just because this is going to be such a short tutorial, that's why I thought I'd go into the man file and help file. Oh, and one more thing. You know, you could also, uh, another uh, terminal emulator, you can do cmd forward slash c ping www.google.com and uh, I hope some of you get that joke. I'm, it's, I'm not really going to show you that. So some of you might be laughing at that, and some of you probably don't get it. Google it. Have a great day. Filmsbychris.com, Chris with a K. And see you in the next video.